Hello, Jack here. Today I'll be reviewing the recent Blocks Cards patch, which has came out three days ago. And this time, instead of nerfing a bunch of cards, they decide to buff more cards. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Shatter into shards. Now inert in play. This change of shatter into shards is something, uh... I don't know what to say, honestly. I've never seen that card been played a lot, but it's really, really good. Unfortunately, it's now inert in play, which sucks, which because now you cannot benefit white gen off the card. You can still draw and shuffle a bunch of era cards, which is good for Potenda, but I don't know. I guess you don't get white gen anymore, which really sucks. Next up, we have Berserker Predator, 450. It's now got a cost buff. One, right, one white, two red. And it triggers at 550 or less life. The effect I could care less. The cost, it's now costing the stats, however. It's more cheaper now. Look at its stats. It's 400, 600. 400 health, 600 attack. And now you can afford it for cheap. One white, two red. And it's also an uncommon, which is crazy. Honestly, I think this card is a winner from this patch. Only because of how cheap the card is now, and considering how big its stat line is for such a cheap cause, so it's definitely nice to slot it in your red decks if you haven't yet. Then we have Ninja Combatant. This is a card noobs have won for many, many years. People hate ninjas. Probably because this kid named Maxim plays it. And everyone hates him because he's a toxic player. I can't even tell if he's trolling either. He doesn't play ninjas anymore. Don't worry, I got him to play toys, which is even more cancerous than ninjas. Anyways, back to what I was saying. It now got a cost nerf, 2 white, 3 red. They only added 1 white, which is, I guess the nerf I'll say is alright for the time being because they're trying to make ninjas a bit more expensive because like how combatant has a 200, 200 AOE buff, like 200 health. 200 power buff to all ninjas, which is so crazy to have in early turns. But I still think this card can go crazy as usual. So, I think Ninja Combatant is still unaffected by the nerf. And next up, we have Rack Jumper. This card is a surprise, honestly. I'm very surprised by its new effect. You can now board wipe just like the old card. By just playing either a high li heavy life loss card, I like uh, what Eurus I can think of right at the top of my head. Eurus Miss Sparks, or you can just play an unwanted trend and it'll deal like an entire board wipe. Unfortunately, Paraselines exist and they can play around that. But otherwise, it's a very safe hard wipe or board wipe. So. I love it. Love the change. And oh look! Scrap Slinger! <laughs> I haven't seen anyone play Marked in centuries. I mean, it just came out like a few weeks ago, Jack. Anyways, anyways, back back to what we're saying. It got buffed by 200 health. It's now 300, 400. I think this card is gonna be even more beneficial because it's gonna survive more on the field because it has 300 health. Well, it's not gonna survive a lot of the time, but mostly in early game when you have this out, it's gonna have a bit more survivability from lower attack cards or some tanks like that. So it still gets a chance to fight on the board. So this buff is definitely a W for Scrap Slayer. Next up, we have Noble Dragon. It only got a cost buff, and it's now 5 blue studs. Generally, I don't know. Who plays 
Noble Dragon in like 2022. I've seen like absolutely no one play this man ever. But he looks good. I mean, what does this... In fact, I don't even remember what this card does. The fact I don't even remember this card, what this card does is truly something. Oh, your opponent draws a card, each fighter in your hand. Oh. Okay. Well. It's... It's okay. I guess. It, it looks good. Pants. Now two yellow studs. Effect now. Unlock a target allied fighter. Oh boy. Blue yellow will have a field day with this action now. Look at this. Unlock a target allied fighter for cheap. Even better that stealth pilot is too white, too blue, which you can get like super early. And pants is a cheap action which unlocks a target ally fighter. Whoever thought it was a good idea to buff this card, please. Please stop playing this game, man. I... Why? After all, I think this, this card is a really good card. And pants getting an unreasonable buff feels really weird to me. Unlock a target ally fighter. It's good in many, many situations. Especially cards that want to OTK hard. So definitely this card will be slotted in OTK decks or decks just that want to go full lethal mid-range. And want to kill the opponent in like three turns or something. Shirts. Now to green. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that doesn't really make that much big of a change, but it's a pure cost, right? That's a good thing. Magic 277, 277, copied summon is now a nerd. Yes, finally, I hate blue so much, I wanted this card to get nerd. This card has lived rent free in my head for a few days already. After seeing my friend Stutteries play that, slot that card in every blue deck, and every time I go against him, he just casts it and boom. He generates a ton of blue studs, allowing him to get his top ends, and he beats me. It's so annoying to face this card. It, clo it basically, like, gets clones itself, and then... Well, and they generate. It's like Snow Skeeter, but they're and but they're it's copy. It's not inert. Now that it's inert, I guess it's uh, I guess it's a uh, better Snow Skate Skate tier. I guess. Eli Oof Sheep, the archetype, now gives a 450 new end step that is inert in all zones. This change is what. Why would you do this to my boy Eli Oofshi? It's not only it's the archetype, but now you can no longer rap with Eli Oofshi, which is so so dumb. Regardless if Yellow has a ton of rap op well it doesn't really have a ton ton of rap op well it actually does. But regardless, I don't get why would you cut off one of its ramp options like Eli Oof Sheep and give a noob that's basically kinda useless. It's just a vanilla 400, 150, one white, inert in all zones. It won't generate and it won't fight for you. It will only fight for you if your opponent's fighter has the health of a happy clown. Otherwise, like, just why? Why him? Free my boy, he did nothing. And I forgot this. Noobs. Now reworked. Again. Now features a more mid-range playstyle. How many times will noobs get reworked until they become good again? Only for them to get nerfed and reworked again. The cycle continues. Mournful Congregation. Now suspend immune. No longer damage itself with effect. Well, this is truly a change I would never expect at all. 
Mournful Congregation, I never had any experience with that Terranian, but now that it doesn't damage itself with effect, it's now going to be a stupid card to face against in Terranians. Gosh, not one of these again. Ultra Orator now deals 200 damage to self on effect trigger. Since everyone finally realizes how good ultras are according, well, according to BB, we now finally have an ultra nerf in how many years? Uh, one year probably. Anyways, 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 anyways. Um, Orator is a car that is constantly annoying. Every time an Ultra dies, it locks all of your fighters, you can't do none about it. So, it finally has a decay effect when you can just nerf the stat line and move on with your day. But, it is what it is after all. It deals 200 damage to self. And I don't know honestly. can only lock its lock in total for 10 turns. I don't like this nerf for some reason. I think they could have lowered its health a bit. Like lowered its health more. So at least it's more killable. Killable, but no. Instead, they're gonna make it do 200 damage to sell. Isn't that gonna like make the card a bit bad? Like you just damage Orator. It kill its allied ultra, it deals 200 damage to itself, like, that's kind of... I, I don't like that, you know? Daring, Master of Chairs, now triggers on first game effect since your last end step. I, I don't know, honestly, but... Daring, Master of Chairs, I've never played that card a lot. But I'll say it's... Ah, uh, it's a good, it's a, it sounds like a buff since it now gives on first instead of second, third, or fourth if I remember correctly. Unadapt 1 and Shadow Centrum 1, now 7 white, 2 green studs. It's nice buff to have, and it's, it's gonna be a nice top end to have in green, yellow. Unfortunately, it has a fart cause. Not many people will play that card, I'm sorry Miram. But having a fart cost will not get people to play green yellow, sir. I mean, ma'am. Ultra Beseecher. Now searches for Ultra Annihilator on Kaz. This is... This is cool, honestly. Ultra Annihilator finally gets tutored. Bibu will definitely like this since he is an Ultra Annihilator fanboy. He wishes to have an Ultra Annihilator body pillow. He wishes to have an Ultra Annihilator figurine. But back to what I was saying, it's a good buff. We finally get to see more Ultra Annihilators. It's a good win con. It also can be a good win more as well. Linkmon and Nicholas. Uh, effect now, Stealth. Cast if you control no fighters. Effects can't destroy or weaken this card. Uh, we can read the entire thing. The only difference is that the destroyed fighters, Nicholas or Linkmon, will gain half of their stats. So I'll say it's a it's a very interesting buff. I love it honestly. I think it'll make Linkmon look better. But I've already seen some some degenerates try to pull a vitality potion on this guy. Then they cast a bunch of fighters. Boom! You have big fat fighter that can't be destroyed or weakened, and it's super. Super annoying to face. You can't do nothing against a 100, 200, 2500 type card. You can't really destroy it. You can't do nothing about it besides obliterate it, which has limited options. So uh, it's a really, it's a nice buff that made the card really, really good. I Next up, we have Sigis, or whatever you pronounce them. Now 600, 500, I do not get the buff at all. Why is it 600, 500 for like 1 white and 4 blue? Huh? What? What? Just, what? Hello? I don't understand, man. This card will definitely be...
be a really good card now. Now that A got buff, regardless of it being already good. So side, so side chest, you're gonna get two, six hundred, five hundred. I think it's gonna be a very nice card to have in your blue deck now. Enchanted Flora, now five hundred, three hundred, five hundred health, three hundred attack. Well, Enchanted Flora, definitely a great Apocrypha Specter card. It resembles similar to this one Apocrypha Specter card that got changed the process that would be Patenda's bodyguard so now that the buff looks so little but I think it's gonna add on to the fact that it's gonna have even more survivability than before so the little buffs can make up for the big things pretty much so Enchanted Flora it's going to be a really good card to run in Apocrypha Spectres now and you should definitely run it. A player of the games. Now a red card. This change I don't understand. In red green, there'd be... Well actually, let me check real quick. Does red green card just have more cards than red? Let's see about that people. Uh, let me just check real quick. I know it's a common effect that green cards and I checked, and so far, gr in red green, there's more green cards than red. I don't get this change. Why? Well, I guess to even it out, actually, honestly. But a minor change, regardless. I don't think that's gonna affect anything, honestly. Ancient Imp, now five yellow. Now 1,200 health and zero power. This card, I think like, Fluffle has told me, especially uh, when the update dropped or whatever, that this card was actual balls. Like, it, it wasn't even good at all. So, I'll, and I was like, I was like looking at it, and I was like, I mean, this is pretty, this can be good, you know? It, it's just like, you gotta buff it, and then... Boom, you just let your opponent attack the card. Unfortunately, it does not have Defender, which is lame, and that'll cause your opponent to attack the other cards instead of Ancient Imp. There will probably be like, no way of people attacking Ancient Imp because they'll know that they'll swap it. But at least it got buff. All you gotta do is slap a new fissy on it, and boom, you have like a tank that just transfers powers a lot. Big Tank S. Now 350, 450. Now gains 50 health and power on end step. This is basically the old Big Tank S except nerf. I don't know what to say about this one except like it's more balanced now. So great, that's amazing. I don't know who uses this card nowadays, but I'll say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Guardian of Soul. Now 3 white, 3 green studs. Guardian of Soul is a really good Apocrypha Spectre card that just dropped during during the, um, the Temporal Halo update. The Temporal Halo continued update. It's a card that I haven't seen people running. And Apocrypha Specters. I, I probably don't play against Apocrypha Specters a lot, but this is a card I would probably see a lot since it suspends fighters that has less power than the card itself. Now that it's cheap, you can basically just drop it around like turn two, turn three, turn one, early game, whatever, and just gain the advantage. Bones McCorsmic. Now 600, 200, 600 health, 200 power, and as you can see here, it got a hundred power buff. That is ridiculous for one reason. It's now it's gonna be returned in its original form, where it used to be so good, but you can just like target bones, and it immediately becomes like a very stacked fighter. So. I'm very suspicious of this buff, 
I'm not sure what I feel about this, whether, like, I should be scared or not, so... The bones buff... Uh... uh it's a pretty... It's an okay buff, for sure. I'm just worried that bones is actually gonna become good again. Which I hated a lot when this card was good. It was unbeatable, even if you just, like... Okay, I'm gonna target power this guy, and then boom, he gets buff. You can't, like, damage, target damage him, or target bread. Why did I say target bread? Kill script, added from the dude. Now, one blue, one green. Finally, it has to pure cost the buff I've been waiting for. Finally, I've been wanting D dude to be good for so long. And now it actually is. You do not need to worry about your colorless stat because look now, it only costs one blue and one green for cheap 300 damage, people. 300. And that's just early game, you know? It can already swing within your favor when you play blue green life gain. Amazing buff right there. D dude is definitely gonna be slotted in a lot after this. So, yeah. Good buff overall. Inventor. Now, th 3 blue, 3 green. Copies given by effect now cost 2 blue, 2 green. Finally, what I've been waiting for this in my in this entire damn year was an inventor nerf. Flat Flyer, the man himself, has been defending this card for months on end. And a year. It was very hard to convince the guy to get his to get his waifu nerfed, which finally we actually someone did manage to convince him to get a nerf because of how cheap it was. It now retains its old cost back, and it's a more balanced than it was before. Besides the copies being more cheaper, but I think that's gonna be very acceptable. So yeah, finally it got nerfed. I'm happy. But Inventor's back to being uh it's, it's still a good card to run in blue green. So yeah. Playerada or whatever you pronounce it, Neo Dragon on Prevalent. I'm not gonna read that essay. Effect now gives the target fighter two thousand power in addition to current effect. I don't know what to say about this, but Good, uh, I mean, at least the yellow Neo Dragon has some use. Neo Dragon still suck though. Uncreative, Scribe of Epoch. No longer target immune. Cool change. I would love to target itself and give myself another copy of it, so. I don't know what's the point of target immune in the first place, honestly, but it's a good change. Uncreative, the uh, consultant. Now. Two white, three yellow studs. Uh, no thoughts on this card? Oh my god, okay, sorry. Back to what I was saying, no thoughts on this card. Pretty neat card overall. I don't see it being run much. But I'd love to see the day that this card would work really well in a deck. Bad Bread Maker. Now two white, three green. Now 550. 300, 550 health, 300 power, and its new effect is whenever an effect you control targets a fighter, this card gains 100 power, then the oldest card in your hand gains 100 power. This is a very neat change to one of my favorite cards, uh, only because I just like the name, it's, it's Bad Bread Maker. But, this card will be very annoying once you just start target spamming and your old and one of your cards in your hand starts getting a bunch of power buffs due to the amount of target spam it's gonna be su it's gonna look super annoying in the future probably like not now but maybe in a few months or so in the future it'll be super annoying and it would be a minute since it has some survivability to it tank boomer now 1600, 200, 1600 attack, 200 power, finally this card got nerfed, I'm so happy, 
I hate that card when people run in mono green and then, and they just get infinite bread for like a bunch of turns straight. I hate that card. Big stats. And if you give it power gain, it's all over. Finally, it got nerfed and I'm happy about it. Overall, this card is still a pest to deal with. But it's got toned down a bit, so it's more a bit easier to beat now. And there is some rarity changes here as well. As you can see, Daring Poophead ticks got epic to common. I, I do not get the reason behind this, but cool. Hotly, legendary, uncommon. Sick build around for pure cost, finally. Soul Surge, epic to a common. I do not get this change either, but that's cool. Lord of Greed, now this one is kind of funny. Legendary to uncommon. Bro, everyone's gonna run it as a starter now in yellow. Or any any kind of deck, honestly. It's such a good card since it kills a fighter and you get a drop. Which is very, very nice to have. Rockdor Kick, legendary epic. Uh, I don't know I don't know why you changed it besides the bloatware stuff. Robloxian Reborn, epic to a rare. Good change. Rob Blocky, legendary to a rare. Oh. Jack of Most Trades, epic to a rare. Oh, cool. Dr. Trade Blocks, legendary to a rare. Cool change. Ah, FL, I, I do not want to pronounce that. Legendary to a common. I, oh, that's cool. Player, epic to a rare. Nice, love that change. Random me bargain, epic to a common. Uh, okay. That's a good change as well. Have Punk Me Mecha. Legendary to an epic. Which is cool. And that is it.